Welcome to Sherry's Cooking Secrets. Today I'm going to show you how to make truffle sauce in the microwave. This has been a big request from a lot of viewers. In a glass bowl, add one cup of chopped chocolate. It can be any chocolate. Now I'm going to add three tablespoons of cream. Again, it can be any cream. Whipping cream also works. Now I'm going to put this in the microwave first for 20 seconds. I always do this in short spurts. If you follow my instructions, you will end, end up with a perfect truffle sauce. Now just wobble it a bit and put it back in the microwave for 20 seconds. You will see now the chocolate is melted beautifully and I always like to mix this with a whisk. So mix it until the cream and chocolate in incorporates very well and you get a perfect truffle sauce. It will look thin but please take into consideration that when it cools down after three to four hours it will firm up. See the consistency? This is the consistency that we want. Now at this stage you can add a tablespoon or two of butter. It really adds to the taste. Mix it well. If it doesn't melt, then you can put this back in the microwave for 10 seconds. This is the perfect consistency. Now we're going to cling wrap this and keep it in the fridge for about four to five hours. You can even leave it overnight. Now, what if you by mistake add less cream? What happens? So in one cup of chocolate, I'm going to add about one and a half tablespoons of cream. And we will microwave this for about 20 seconds. Again, just wobble it a bit and put it back for another 20 seconds. Now take a whisk and just mix it all up. Let the cream and the chocolate incorporate. And it may seem to you that, yes, um, the chocolate sauce is a good consistency, but can you see how thick it is? So when it cools down, it becomes very thick. And then it's difficult to pipe and it's difficult to spread. Now how to fix this? All you do is just add another one and a half tablespoons to two tablespoons of cream and microwave it again for about 10 seconds. Mix it well. And it's perfect. You can add your butter cling wrap it and keep it in the fridge for four to five hours or overnight even. See this is the perfect consistency. Now what if you by mistake add too much cream? What happens? So in one cup of chocolate I'm going to add about four to five tablespoons of cream. Now we'll microwave this for first 20 seconds. 
give it a little mix and put it back in the microwave again for 20 seconds. Mix it up. Let all the cream and chocolate incorporate. Now see the consistency of this? It's a little bit thin. So with this sort of consistency, it's not possible to do piping. And also covering the cake and all becomes a little difficult. So how to fix this? So add about uh, a quarter of a cup of chopped chocolate and put it in the microwave for about 10 seconds. So just see the consistency of this. Now it's perfect. You see? Yes, this is what we want. Now you just need to cling wrap this and keep it in the fridge 4 to 5 hours or overnight. Now this has been in the fr fridge for about 4 to 5 hours and now I want to, I've washed my hands and I want to show you the consistency. See it's firm on top but it's soft inside. This is what we require. It's perfect. Now see, can you see how thick it's become? It's perfect pipeable consistency. And for spreading also, it's also perfect. You see that? Isn't it beautiful? Nice and glossy and smooth without any lumps at all. Wonderful. If you follow my instructions, you'll be able to get the same. Now I just want to show you how to cover your cake with this. And I've just piped some on the top of uh, a normal chocolate sponge and see how easy it is to spread. Now sometimes if I'm going to cover the cake with pipe piping I just don't really bother about the finishing on the top because nothing shows. So you can dip your knife in very hot water and just finish it off as best as you can. Don't worry about it, it's okay. Now I'm just going to Put the truffle in an icing bag with a nozzle and uh, this is a star nozzle and I'm just piping swirls. See how easy it is? I've put some chocolate squares on the side of the cake and um, I'll show you how I did that. So I've got the squares and I'm just overlapping them a bit by bit on the side. This looks beautiful. And it also hides the sides if they're not finished properly. <laughs> Don't worry about that. See how beautiful it looks. And now we'll just use some garnishes. Now um, I've used, I've made this sugar bubble, which I'm going to teach you very soon. It's really easy. And I've put a chocolate garnish there. And that's it. Make it simple. Minimalistic looks good because we've got so much on the side. I do hope you like this.